Hey everyone, Techno Manager here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the no SIM problem on iOS 26 after you upgraded your iPhone. So let's get started. First thing is, you're going to pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it off. And that does a quick network refresh. Now the next thing you want to do if you're having issues is go ahead and to check if there's a carrier update. So in your setting, you're going to go to a general about and wait here for 10 15 seconds to see if there's an update if there is go ahead and click on update this is going to be a carrier update now if you don't see an update pop up that move on to the next thing the next thing is if your phone has a physical sim card so either the sim card is going to be on the left or the right side you're going to take a sim card out if you happen to have a dual sim card what you want to do is switch from one slot to the other one. So on the back, there's a if you have a dual SIM. If you don't have a dual SIM, just basically take it out and insert it back in. That's going to reinitialize your SIM card. You may need a SIM ejector tool like this to pull out the SIM card. If you don't have one, you can also use a paper clip. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to go ahead and do is do this method here. You're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up volume down and then i hold down this side button so again i quickly pressed and release volume up followed by volume down and then i'm holding on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and once the apple logo appears i will let go of that side button and that's known as a force restart which basically shuts down the phone software reloads the code so if there's an issue with the software it's going to go ahead and fix it for us without deleting any of our data so all the photos videos apps still will be there if it doesn't work the very first time go ahead and try that again again quickly press and release volume up volume down and then hold down that side button the next thing you want to go ahead and do is let's go ahead into our setting from our setting here you're going to search basically in the search bar it's known as a lockdown so you're going to search for lockdown mode under privacy and security make sure if you have lo this lockdown mode turned on by accidentally when you upgrade it turn that mode off that's going to prevent your sim card from working so you don't want this you want to turn this off it gets turned on for some reason when you upgrade to ios 26. the next thing you want to do for still having issue is go ahead and check in your setting basically general uh, and then you're going to look for BPN and device management. If you have any BPN turned on, I would recommend you turn it off and delete it. You'll see an option there. If you do have one connected, go ahead and delete that. And then if the SIM card works after that, you can re-add it again. Go ahead and try that. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing to do is go back from the main settings. You're going to go general, scroll down to transfer reset iPhone. Click on the first reset and do what's known as a network setting reset. Network resetting will basically reset the network settings like your phone. Uh, SIM card not working, it will not delete any of your data, but an important step to do. Finally, if that isn't working for you, go ahead into your phone settings, go to general, software update, and look to see if there's an update out. Sometimes a previous, a new update might be added to fix certain things. As you can see here, bug fixes have come out. Go ahead and update your phone for this. You make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi as you'll need internet connection if your SIM isn't working. So those are going to be the fix for your no SIM problem on your iPhone on iOS 26. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.